The great libraries of the ancient world served as archives for empires, sanctuaries for sacred writings, and depositories of literature and chronicles. Algeria Tumgad 250 AD modern Algeria the library was a gift to the Roman people and province of Thamagadi or Tumgad by Julius Quintianus Flavius Rogatianus in the 3rd century. The library contained an expansive arched hall which consisted of a reading room, stack room, and a rotunda for lectures. The library was quite large measuring 81 feet 25 meters in length by 77 feet 23 meters in width. Oblong alcoves held wooden cabinets along walls of which the manuscripts were maintained. In addition there is evidence for freestanding bookcases in the center as well as a reading desk. There is no evidence as to how many books the library harbored although it is estimated that it could have accommodated 3,000 scrolls. <inaudible> Anatolia Hattusa 1900 BC. 1190 BC modern Bogoskoy, this archive constituted the largest collection of Hittite texts discovered with approximately 30,000 inscribed cuneiform tablets. The tablets had also been classified according to a precise system. Royal Library of Antioch 221 BC 363 AD modern Antakya the library was commissioned in the 3rd century BC by Euphorion of Chalcis by the Greek sovereign Antiochus III the Great. Euphorion was an academic and was also the chief librarian. Library of Pergamum 197 BC 159 BC modern Bergama, the Italied kings formed the second best Hellenistic library after Alexandria, founded in emulation of the Ptolemies. Parchment, a predecessor of vellum and paper, was widely used in the library, and came to be known as Pergamum after the city. The library had collected over 200,000 volumes and the reason why the library was so successful was because of Pergamum's hegemony which was a purveyor of scholarship. Library of Celsus 135 AD to 262 located within the city of Ephesus this library was part of the triumvirate of libraries in the Mediterranean which included the aforementioned library of Pergamum and the great library of Alexandria listed below the library was actually a tomb and a shrine for the deceased Tiberius Julius Celsus Polemianus for whom the library is named 12,000 volumes were collected at this library which were deposited in several cabinets along the wall. The Imperial Library of Constantinople 337 to 361 AD the 29th of May 1453 Constantinople modern Istanbul the library was established by Constantius II who was the son of the first Christian emperor Constantine. Constantius requested that the rolls of papyrus should be copied onto parchment or vellum in order that they would be preserved. It is known that several documents from the Library of Alexandria were spared incineration and secured here at the library. Some assessments place the collection at just over 100,000 volumes which included papyrus scrolls and codices bound in parchment, although 120,000 volumes had been destroyed in a fire in A.D. 473. <laughs> China Han Imperial Library Catalogue preserved in the Yi Wengzhi chapter of the Book of Han. At the time of inventory contained 596 works divided into six genres, scripture, philosophy, poetry, warfare, astrology, and medicine. Qin Rain 3rd century BCE, it was the practice of Chinese emperors to assemble and maintain their official written archive. 
The first Qin emperor was a determined opponent of Confucianism, and worked to eradicate texts and teachings of that philosophy. Tang Dynasty 6th-10th century, the Tang Dynasty is known as the Golden Age of Imperial Chinese history. Academy libraries were places where young men came to study for civil service exams, and became an important part of the Chinese meritocracy. Private collection of books was also common during this time. Woodblock printing spread throughout the kingdom at this time, making books more affordable. Social status was determined, in part, by the cultural refinement acquired through personal book collections. <inaudible> Egypt The Royal Library of Alexandria, Egypt, Florida. 3rd century BC c. 295 BC, founded by Ptolemy, this library was said to have amassed an estimated 400,000 manuscripts and was considered the leading intellectual metropolis of the Hellenistic world. The Serapium in Alexandria served as an extension of the library. Serapium of Alexandria, offshoot collection of the Great Library of Alexandria, Temple of Edfu Archive Library 237 to 57 BC This library was an extension of the temple itself The walls of this chamber are bestrewn with engravings and captions depicting numerous receptacles filled with manuscripts of papyrus as well as scrolls bound in leather these documents chronicled the circadian workings of the temple, but also detailed construction drafts and directives on how the temple walls should be decorated. <laughs> Ethiopia The library of Aksumth Kingdom of Aksum, by the 1st century CE, was a noted trading hub for Europe, Asia, and Africa. By the 3rd century, it was the equal of the Roman, Persian, and Chinese empires. Aksum had a unique written language, Gere, and their libraries held their own translation of the Christian Bible, and other important early Christian works. It is believed that Coptic monks translated many of these works. Notably, the Book of Enoch, a pre-Christian religious text, was originally written in Gere. By the 7th century CE, the Kingdom of Aksum fell due to Islamic expansion, agricultural difficulties, and a trading shift away from the Red Sea in favor of the Persian Gulf, but it is remembered as a society that celebrated literacy, education, and libraries. Topic. Greece The Library of Aristotle Athens 384 to 321 BC The Library of Aristotle was a private library and the earliest one reported on by ancient chroniclers It is not known what books nor the number of books that were included in the library Accounts in antiquity state that the library formed part of the later Library of Alexandria in Egypt. Kos Library Kos 100 AD, The library was a local public library situated on the island of Kos and known as a crossroads for academia and philosophical faculties. A record of individuals who were supposedly responsible for the establishment of the library are acknowledged in an inscription near the monument. The Library of Pantinos Athens, 100 AD, dedicated to both Athena Archegetus and the Roman Emperor Hadrian, the library was connected to the Agora in Athens. Titus Flavius Pantinos had it built, and he, along with his children, also devoted it to the citizens of Athens. While the precise date of its dedication is not clear, it is believed to have been dedicated between 98 AD and 102 AD. There is speculation that the library may have actually been built by the father of Pantinos. Being a Roman period library, the design is quite unconventional. A spacious alcove with an adjoining courtyard enclosed by three galleries formed the arrangement of the structure. 
An inscription discovered dictates proper library etiquette. No book is to be taken out because we have sworn an oath. The library is to be open first hour until the sixth. The library was ultimately consumed by the invading Germanic Heruli tribe in 267 AD. The Library of Rhodes, Rhodes 100 AD, the library on the island of Rhodes was a distinct component of the larger gymnasium structure. An enclosure that had been excavated revealed a section of a catalogue analogous to modern library catalogues. The catalogue, which classified titles by subject, displayed an inventory of authors in consecutive order together with their published efforts. It has also been determined that the library employed a qualified librarian. Hadrian's Library Athens, 132 AD. It was created by Roman Emperor Hadrian on the north side of the Acropolis of Athens. The library was seriously damaged by the Herulean invasion of 267 and repaired later. During Byzantine times, three churches were built at the site, the remains of which are preserved. <inaudible> India The great seats of learning in the ancient Indian subcontinent include Takshasila 6th to 5th century BC in modern day Pakistan Nalanda founded in 427 was considered one of the first great universities in recorded history In 1193 the Nalanda University complex was invaded and sacked by the slave dynasty under the Turkic Muslim general Bakhtiar Khilji This event is seen as a milestone in the decline of Buddhism in India Vikramshala 8th century Kanchipuram and other universities also maintained vast libraries of palm leaf manuscripts on various subjects ranging from theology to astronomy Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> Iran The Academy of Gondishapur in western Iran, established during the Persian Sassanid Empire in the 3rd through 6th centuries, the breadth of this institution was enormous and included a university, teaching hospital, and a library filled with over 400,000 titles. The academy was the epitome of the Sassanid Empire with its faculty highly proficient in the conventions of Zoroastrianism and ancient Persian as well as classical Indian scholarship. Topic: Iraq. The Library of Ashurbanipal, established 668 to 627 BC in Nineveh, near modern Mosul, Iraq, long considered to be the first systematically collected library, was rediscovered in the 19th century. While the library had been destroyed, many fragments of the ancient cuneiform tablets survived and have been reconstructed. Large portions of the Epic of Gilgamesh were among the many finds. Nippur Temple Library 2500 BC, the earliest version of the Great Flood was discovered here. Nuzi modern Yorgan Tipa 1500 BC, this archive consisted of over 6,000 tablets written primarily in Babylonian cuneiform, however a select few were composed in the indigenous Hurrian language. The House of Wisdom, Baghdad, 9th-13th centuries, an Abbasid-era library and Arabic translation institute in Baghdad, Iraq, 8th century 1258. The academy was expressed by not only the library but a celestial observatory. There is a dearth of information on this institution, and the majority of knowledge about it comes from the accounts of the Muslim scholar and bibliographer Ibn al-Nadim. Italy 
Libraries of the Forum, consisted of separate libraries founded in the time of Augustus near the Roman Forum that contained both Greek and Latin texts, separately housed, as was the conventional practice. There were libraries in the Porticus Octavii near the Theatre of Marcellus, in the Temple of Apollo Palatinus, and in the Bibliotheca Ulpia in the Forum of Trajan. Atrium Liberatatis Public Library of Asinius Pollio The Villa of the Papyri, in Herculaneum, Italy the only library known to have survived from classical antiquity. This villa's large private collection may have once belonged to Julius Caesar's father-in-law, Lucius Calpurnius Piso Caesoninus in the 1st century BC. Buried by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius that destroyed the town in 79 AD, it was rediscovered in 1752. Around 1800 carbonized scrolls were found in the villa's top story. Using modern techniques such as multispectral imaging, previously illegible or invisible sections on scrolls that have been unrolled are now being deciphered. It is possible that more scrolls remain to be found in the lower, unexcavated levels of the villa. <laughs> Israel The Theological Library of Caesarea Maritima, a late 3rd century AD establishment, was a great early Christian library. Through Oregon of Alexandria and the scholarly priest Pamphilus of Caesarea, the school won a reputation for having the most extensive ecclesiastical library of the time, containing more than 30,000 manuscripts. Gregory of Nazianzus, Basil the Great, Jerome, and others came to study there. Topic: Syria. Ebla, 2500 BC, 2250 BC, constitute the oldest organized library yet discovered. See Ebla tablets. Ugari, modern Ras Shamra, 1200 BC, several thousand texts consisting of diplomatic archives, census records, literary works, and the earliest privately owned libraries yet recovered. Even though the tablets were written in several different languages, the most important aspect of the library were the 1400 texts written in a previously unknown tongue called Ugaritic. Tel Lalan, northeast Syria, 1900 BC. This archive housed over a thousand clay tablets. Mari, modern Tel Hariri, 1900 BC. The archive held approximately 15,000 tablets, which included works on litigation, letters, foreign negotiations, literary and theological works. Sufiya Mosque Library, Grand Umayyad Mosque, Aleppo, 12th century. More than 10,000 volumes were housed in this library, which were entrusted to the mosque by Prince Saif al dawla Topic. See also List of destroyed libraries Apelicon of Teos <laughs> Notes <laughs>